Hey guys, today I'm going to be playing Life is Strange Before the Storm. This is a prequel to the first Life is Strange, which was concentrated on Max and Chloe's friendship while Rachel Amber was missing. I won't spoil what ends up happening there. This one is more concentrated on Chloe and Rachel Amber's friendship. So, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. Look at her, she is such a badass. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Okay. Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Yay! Alright, so. This makes you walk faster. Like, I think the wind literally would have knocked her over if she had that train go past her. Okay. Look or jump. Look. No trespassing? No way. Okay. <laughs> the lines are so corny sometimes. Like, I don't Holy think I was shit. that corny when I was young like that. Then again, I don't know if I went through like a crazy rebel phase, but... This place is awesome. If I'm yeah. gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Look at this really run down, jank place. It's so awesome. <laughs> okay. Why does it feel. The camera feels really weird right now. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. Looking at junk. What's this? Where are they? Uh oh, I'll go to the next. Look how she miss. walks. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Oh, he just threw that at you. You gotta take that shit? Come on. <laughs> Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Well, he looks Hawaiian. I mean... I'd join a motorcycle gang. If I had any friends. Oh, that's sad. Okay. I feel like the camera is a bit wonky. Ponder? What are we pondering? Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. An hour? This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. Firemen. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Why don't you use that as a distraction or something? Can I go in? Just let me in here. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. No oh shit, they're standing right there. <laughs> of course Your they're gonna problem. see you. Not mine. Those guys need to get a room. Not. Oh, damn! Mind they slapped him. Okay. Look 
him. He's really hard. I understand, really, and, and it won't ever I, happen again. I, I talk swear. To you? No. You can trust me. What's over here? Look at that panel. Yeah, graffiti it. Now, what to draw? Hey kids, free candy. I mean, you didn't even like make it pretty or anything. There's no spray paint, it's just literally a marker. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I figured out a way because to trust get with me. in here. Unless we can like sweet talk him about his bike. Maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah, let's go try that. Whoa, let me in. God, again? What do you want, kid? Um, yeah, let me inside now. Doesn't sound like it. Your bike, walk away. Your bike. Let's talk Is about that them. your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. <laughs> okay, well that didn't work at all. Okay, let's walk away. Never mind. Second. Yeah, keep walking. Oh. Oh, now that just pissed me off. All right, fine. I'm gonna argue with you then. Got it. Again? What do you want, kid? Let me inside. All right. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets challenge, me inside. In backtalk, you use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. Okay. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? attention to what your opponent says. Yeah, bedtime. Okay. Um. Uh. Isn't it past the door bedtime? Aww. Isn't it past yours? <laughs> so lame. <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Um, but I still don't know you. Okay. Again, listen to your opponent's words. I don't do cute. Cute is relative. Um, I don't Look do at my cute. face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Um, why is it saying sometimes the right choices are more difficult to pick out? Your playground is a good response to kids. Okay. Maybe I am a kid. This isn't a playground. This place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. Um. A girl like me? You mean a girl who doesn't take shit from a walking pair of biceps like you? That kind of girl? My boss will kill me if I let you in. Uh, okay. Bosses suck. Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You <laughs> God. You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? She's a yeah. giant corn. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had? You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. Oh, so I guess to get what you want, you just have to argue. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> okay.
This is intense. Oh, shit. Jesus. Hey, Delia, come. That was so loud. Oh, cute dog. Scare me. It is a cute dog. Scream, don't touch my soul with dirty hands. Question everything, why? Yeah, this looks like a real shithole, but I guess this is the place to Just be. follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. I want to touch him. That dog is fierce. He kind of looks like, what's it, Zool from, uh... What's her name? Fucking Ghostbusters. Delia. Like, the nose is so weird on this dog. Aww. She doesn't I usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. There's a drunk girl over here. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. I don't think she gave shits about this show, okay? I can't hear you. Can you talk louder, please? You're just gonna take it? Can I talk okay, to Okay, good. Hey. Are you selling 20 any- 20 bucks. What? Oh. 20 bucks for a t-shirt. That's- Really, really expensive. expensive. Dick. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set some. Excuse me, guys. Sketch Central. Yeah, like, why did you want to come here? These people look kind of crazy, man. Look rough. Drink more, feel less. Yes, please. Here we go. Oh, oh. 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 Fuck. Oh, come on. Hey. You okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Yeah, blow off. Fuck off, man. Get out of hey, my way. You don't know who I am. Do you? No. And I give zero shits. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. <laughs> All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. So Fine. Rational. Okay. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Yeah, screw this. Let's go upstairs. New dialogue unlocked. Who? Dog? Your name, Is it you Liam idiot. Hemsworth? You bought pot but... for me every month. Really rough year. now. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? Is it I'm Frank? trying to see this damn band. You got mixed up with this place is Rachel crazy Hammer packed. The first one. Hard to get to the stage. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon who? This is his place. He's a friend of mine. Oh, does he sell you marijuana? How about something Okay, like so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Is that of course. Weird? As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. Uh, How about you spot me some? You know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. I learned my lesson last time. I owe you 175 dollars, but... Bought me some because I'll pay you back. Never mind then. Uh, suit yourself. Okay, let's just go upstairs. Yep, 
I'm gonna have to mute all this, by the way, so... I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all copyright. Can we stop? Stop listening to it, Chloe. Get up, Chloe. I know you walked an hour, but you gotta go. Oh, great. Uh, insult. Oh. Why do you pick on a kid? They're like grown ass adults. Oh, okay. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Uh, attack him. Oh! <laughs> oh! He punched a girl? Who punches a girl? He's just trying to stab you, like, an adult. It's crazy. Oh god, no, just turn the music off. Stop it. Stop dancing. Go outside. <laughs> oh. Quit it. Uh, okay, it's over. Thank god. <laughs> another song I have to mute, so. Look at that <laughs> statue. Okay. Oh. Wake up. Wake up, Chloe. Oh, okay, Chloe, come on. Oh, she is a bruise. She got punched in the face, man. It's crazy her mom lets her smoke cigs in the house like that. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Chloe. Come on. Wake up, Chloe. Yeah. All right. What's this? Whoa, I forget how touchy that is. Oh, it was to Max, the loser. Yeah, that's right, I called you a loser. Wanna know why? Because you weren't at Firewalk last night. Even Frank was there. He's my dealer. Or mom, if you're reading this, he's my dealer and you shouldn't be reading this. 
It was maybe the greatest night of my life. I hiked to this old mill using the train tracks, then verbally abused this dumb bouncer until he let me inside. Firewalk was a shit. Who knew ragers like that went down in little old Arcadia Bay? Fuck Seattle. Plus, I have a sweet-ass black eye for a souvenir. MBD, but there were these two asshole skeevy guys whose manhood I wrecked. Oh, yeah, and I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night, loser? Oh, it's so sad, because she doesn't even... Max doesn't even talk to Chloe anymore. Okay, what? Is there something else I'm supposed to do? Oh, there's a photo. Aww. Her dad's dead, remember? In the first one. Oh, she doesn't even know who... Oh, okay. I guess she does know who she is. What is that? It looks like Daenerys Targaryen on a unicorn. Alright, let's... Can we turn off the radio? Um... What's this? No. Okay. What's that? That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Okay. Skateboard. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Let's just change your clothes. Get dressed. This is my favorite part of games. <laughs> Picking out their outfits. Raven. Wait, is that your only option? He's like, I don't want to wear that. <laughs> is there something better? Okay, oh. Change? Oh, okay, you can... Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going with the Raven then. Put that back on. Let's just go. Oh, wait, I pressed the same button. Oh, okay. <laughs> Exit. There you go. Let's go, Chloe. Let's get out of this I really room. should get going. Shit. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Hmm. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? <laughs> look at that picture. Their faces are so goofy. Wait, why don't we call her? Call her phone. Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Um, it's in here. Oh, next to the trash can. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, did you get that drunk? Stay next to the trash can all night? One new message. Okay, mom. Chloe, we be home by curfew. There will be consequences. Yeah, well, we definitely did not come home. Elliot, dude, that's the third time. I already 
Oh, oh, okay. What you up to? Not much, got shit to do later, okay. You just came on working out. Alright. Oh wait, look, there's Max. Hey, what's the latest? Like, totally ignores her. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I saw mom's purse in her room. I feel like the sensitivity is so high on this right now. I should probably turn it down. Uh, there's her purse. Oh, can you grab my cell phone, too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Right. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Whoa. Go downstairs. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Little pictures. All right, put it on the table. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. What's that? Dad's old swear jar. Oh, okay. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Aww. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snow. She's a smart ass. <laughs> um, sorry, I'll do better. Sorry, I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? David. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate he him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. All right. This is ah, school. right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? Why would she like that? <laughs> I'll enjoy that, huh? Yeah, like, Tired, huh? She That'll hates teach you David. Why coffee. would she wanna hear about what? it? What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Oh, mom's mad. Do you think I enjoy lying for you? Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Mom keeps stamping her foot down over and over again. She's really mad. Look at Between her. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules- Heels are clicking. I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Never again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe David could help. I guess maybe David... Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? Oh, I didn't you expect never her to hear say yourself. that. Find his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. 
Dad was a good man. David's an asshole. His dad was a good man. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people Aww. to let into our hearts. Mom. Can't David's had some hard times too, Nobody you know. Wants to grow old alone. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today, very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? Yes, Chloe. This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Um, be understanding. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Oh my god, no it's not. I do remember when I was younger, because I came from... Um, a divorced family too. I hated every boyfriend my mom brought home. Like it didn't matter if he was nice or not. <laughs> like, I just hated him. Because you just don't want anyone else but your dad to be there. Uh, oh, is that the ashtray? That weird looking thing? Yep. Here they are. Pick them up. <laughs> like they've got cooties. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. Read this will defend. Okay. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. Someone better water that better plant, get going. Man. There's wine stains on the floor. What? What can I do with her purse? Nothing. So where am I supposed to go? In the garage? Or out the front door? Oh. Okay. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gingrich. Hey, I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. All right. Cool, let's go. What a piece of crap. The car, too. <laughs> Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. Look at his crew cut. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Yeah, who snaps at somebody? It's like when Chloe, people snap at waiters. Is that a black stuff. eye? No. Don't do that. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you the not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. All right. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. 
So let's get the socket wrench. Muscle car. Should I look at it? I'll look at it. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia <laughs> Bay. Hey! Some cars are just really nice. Don't mean shit. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Yep. That's exactly what that means. Car repair guide's toolbox. This toolbox? Did she write socket wrench on her hand? It looked like it, didn't it? Like you were gonna forget. 50 50 chance I smash him in the face with this. You have to walk like five feet. 60 <laughs> 40. Maybe 90 10. Wrench. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. That took her like two seconds. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this. If you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. You know, you could have said thank you when I brought you the soccer wrench, but you didn't. Oh, his pants are just up so high. This bump leave him hanging. Oh, just fist bump him. Fine. Whatever. It's just... cringy if you don't. <laughs> she wiped her hand off. His pants! Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? They're so tight. Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, David, but thanks. <laughs> School. I want to meet people. Ready to roll? You make me late. Please don't dude. want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. <laughs> Fuck. We don't have to like each other. Why does he but do this you in will the car? Respect me. In like You've enjoyed enough quarters. of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. So uncomfortable. Ignore and endure. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act so... together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Oh my god. Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Yeah, be nice to your mom. Got it. Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. You're gonna make me late. Let's go. What? Glad we understand each other. What's that face? That didn't make him happy? <laughs> Let's go. Come on, David. I'm enjoying this so far. I like it a lot. And I think I'm going to have to mute this part too because of copyright. So I'll try to edit it. Socket wrench. Okay. First. Well, 
William. William? Oh, this is her dad. She must be dreaming. Is that how he died? He got hit by a train. Whew. I don't remember how he died. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Yeah, you could have woken her up a little bit nicer. Hey, get out of the car. Thanks. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you. Nothing right. makes uh, you happy. Hello. Just... I was actually saying. I that... see everything. Oh, no. he's crazy. I'll he is warn psychotic. Everything. Hello, like Black Hell. Then we're back at school. Just have the stage out on the front lawn. Wait, it's that dude that hey, texted you. Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? <laughs> what? This? It's kind of harsh. What happened? You to your should face? see the other guy. <gasps> Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. <laughs> I mean, people are talking about it. Already? Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, Does that totally. Drugs? I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you wanna go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. That is not what he all was thinking right. at all. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Hey, we don't share interests, dude. Don't take it personally. Press and hold L2. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. DVD from Steph. She writes it on her hand. Okay. That makes sense why that socket wrench was on her hand earlier. The Tempest, anti-drug poster. They will mess you up. Look at that girl. <laughs> Steph texted me. Hey, I'm at the picnic table. Tables with Mikey. Thanks on my way. Okay. Victoria, this girl was a bitch. I remember that. Do I really want to talk to her? All right, I'll talk to her. Oh, Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. Yeah. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or oh, whatever. God. But you know all about that. Oh, what, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? What do you mean? What about Rachel Amber? Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. We murdered a man. <laughs> yeah. I'm dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. 
We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. She's jealous. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. She's jealous oh, Rachel God, Amber's I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Ugh. Uh, sabotage your homework. No, just walk away. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? It's Chloe. <laughs> Look at how she walks. Oh my god. She's gonna throw her back out doing that. Uh, okay, so these are the picnic tables. That uh, looks like a girl. Let's go over here. Oh, there's a line here. Whoa. Chloe, come on. Steph and Mikey. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Um... Try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Oh, no. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. I don't know if you needed to call them Sweet. The Five heck? bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just, like, a friend thing? Uh... We're not friends? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. Sweet? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Oh, Chloe, that makes sense. you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Sure. Let's do it. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> Why is that funny? I'm totally an elf barbarian. Yeah, I'm an elf barbarian. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. Durgaron. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averno. <laughs> Introduce your character. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia? Yeah. Calamastia. She looks sweet. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? According to my character sheet, I once made a man kebab. Yeah, I once made a man kebab. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> you stand nice. at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Uh, Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. 
Elamon frowns. The Raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. It's true. Where do you wish to go? Warlord's tent training ground prison camp. Let's go to the prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Right, Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Alright, pick the lock, temp with bread. Intimidate. Intimidate? That's a skill I have! Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. <laughs> you can try. What do you say? Okay. Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he I can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. All right. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Uh, dragons are pussies, meat puppet shoes. Meat puppet. I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Damn. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. Uh, can make you taller, can make you shorter. This oh, tabletop shit. shit is hard. Try playing solo. No, I didn't do the it. The dragonkin time. swallows the key, no. pointing at his stomach and then his oh, own butt. butt, laughing at you. Then he. I shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands my inside his God. open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final Look moments before eyes. he dies, I hold the She's key up to his face. Her. And then I laugh. Alrighty. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing. You won. Yeah. Go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. Oh. What's next? Uh, let's just go to the warlords. It's tent, tent time. Wait. Have you forgotten the training camp? There's potential loot there. This is true. All right, all right, let's go back. I live for loot. Let me pick again. Where do you wish to go? The training ground, let's go. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Can't miss loot. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set who orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of oh. smell as the flesh God. melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy-set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Uh, fatal cleave, knee slam, pommel strike. Let's do a fatal cleave. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave! You swing your great axe downward with both hands. 
The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game! It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, Aww. it's unlikely Thanks, any loot survived. Dang. You destroyed it. Alright, we all make Don't mistakes. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon? Nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Okay, obviously, we're going to the warlords. It's now. tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord oh, of the raiders huge. of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. <laughs> I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. Okay. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron oh, laughs no. again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? Well, What'll it be? Uh, Annihilation Strike, Brutal Punch, and Wraithful Rush? Let's do a Wraithful... What? Wrathful. Wrathful Rush. It's like Wrathful. a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder slam. Okay, I do that. You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgeron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. Good. You slam your shoulder into him, knocking him back and doing some damage. Hell yeah. Next. Um, Annihilation Strike, Brutal Punch. Annihilation Strike. Oh, holy shit. Uh, Annihilation Strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? Oh, no. That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh, no. She's gonna die! Three. Your She's axe die. strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. Oh. Wow. Well, I'm sorry, dude. I am so sorry. Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Um... Jump in front of him, um, dance, encourage Elamon. Jump in front of him. I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, oh, you're dead. lifting you high into the air. You're certainly dead. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey. Cut it off. I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Uh, swing for his head. Swing for his arm. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20! Fuck yes! You bring your axe down in a wicked chop. Seven snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a hmm. flaming spear, which flies from your hands though. to spear Durgeron in the chest incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgron is defeated. 
but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. Aww. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. When did he have time to Mikey's draw? Mikey's got serious drawing <laughs> skills. Were you even paying attention, Mikey? Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for the game, nerds. Okay. That was fun. DVD, All right. check. Next stop, chemistry, chemistry class. Joy. Ah, I keep getting stuck on the stuff. Is there anybody else out here? No. Whoa. What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. That's oh, me. wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not Out yours. It. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> uh, you're both losers? Um, I don't know. Wanna take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? What? Whoa, whoa! Oh, you earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat oh, dad need again? shouldn't have said that. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. Yes. My dad lost Stashed his up. job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You do something. You know something, Prescott? Don't make me do something. I'm gonna do you a You're favor. You're literally just standing there. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at people. the same time. Okay. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! <laughs> Chloe, do something! You do something! Don't just stand there watching! You're standing there watching! Uh, uh, step in, I guess. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Uh, back off. Yeah. Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. <laughs> that's his comeback. What if he cries to daddy? I'm crazy, that's true. You know what's crazy? What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? A piece of your bromance? A piece of cake? I guess. You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did I win? <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. This girl. You shut the fuck up. Oh, well, finally. Finally, Go she did Samantha. something. Go Samantha. Yeah, get out of here. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Prescott, you suck too, Had two though. girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From oh. you? Oh. You're welcome. Are you Look at how he's walking away. <laughs> Thanks for sticking up for him. Oh, he walked away like he had a People stick shot. People think just his because butt. of his family. Who's that? Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Oh, that was easy. Skip doesn't do his job very well. All right. Can we go to class now, Mom? There will be consequences. Oh, okay, glad we talked. Me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Let's 
Enter. Oh, it's Rachel Amber. Oh, good. You're here. Why are we like best friends now? It's really weird. She's really pretty though, so. <laughs> I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Oh. Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and smile. to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Her eyes are really yellow. Rachel looks awesome. Oh. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Uh... Miranda's an idiot. Miranda's an idiot, because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? Well, I don't know if I would've thought that exactly, but... Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive, is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Rachel, your eyes are so yellow. <laughs> your eye looks fabulous. That's weird. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't like Chloe's nervous. She's really nervous. Rachel looks so happy here. Okay. Quit snooping. Grab her belt. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Rachel, is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Bring it to her, throw the belt over. Oh, bring it to her. What, are you gonna see like a young kid in her underwear though? I don't really wanna see that. That was a cool costume. Yeah, sure. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? I'll owe you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. Aww. Something, I'll let you finish changing here. now. <laughs> Chloe. 
Chloe Price. Rachel Amber? Last night was amazing. Firewalk was pretty good. Getting attacked was amazing. Yeah, Firewalk was pretty good. Uh, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. Hmm. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Okay. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Has Rachel Amber gone rogue? Fuck yes. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. <laughs> I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Uh, sure. Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Maybe it's a bonding moment. Hold still. Aww. I ship them. This They're is cute. a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. She's doing her eye makeup too? Whoa, what's going on? Much better. Look at that. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Love how the music was so magical during that, but like nothing really happened. <laughs> they just put foundation on her. We're back at the train tracks, huh? You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Elliot? Oh, whoops. Hey, why aren't you and Kim everything okay? Elliot, leave me alone, okay? We do not have anything in common. What happened with Drew? People saying you were awesome. Okay, all right. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Yeah. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Yeah. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. I is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Uh -huh. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Yep, that's what people do. Uh, yeah, just, I guess it's nice Nice weather. Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? No. I mean, weather. It's nice weather. 